Steve, we've run into situations where we have had a client come in, uh, a buyer, we've recommended you as a home inspector, uh, they have come in and you have failed a house on us. Yep. We still use you. Why? Because we want to protect our client. But I want you to talk about a little bit of that house, one of those houses that, that you failed. Well, I've had lots of houses that have failed and to tell you the truth, it's not me that fails them. A home inspection is for the buyer. Um, they're the ones who actually choose whether the house passes or fails. And I've had that on both sides of the scale. I've had probably the nicest, closest to perfect house I've ever have not go through because the buyers didn't like something in the house. I've had houses where I sit there and go, there's about two hundred, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of work to do here. But it was an abandoned house for four years. The people were moving in. They knew what they were getting into. They wanted to know are they in for a hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand. So every buyer is different. That's why they get to choose whether it passes or not, because they're in a different boat. Um, I'm never really worried about failing a house um, because that's not my job is just to be honest and tell them what's actually going on with the house. I don't make the decision. I just let them be informed. That's all my job is. Um, if there have been instances where I've you know had brand new young couple buying a house and you know I find something that's going to be a hundred thousand dollar problem, you know I'm not going to tell them don't buy the house. I'm going to say okay, we're, here's a hundred thousand dollar problem. It's your decision. You know if you've got an extra hundred thousand, you're fine here. But if you don't. You may want to look. Okay. Because um, really, it's, it's not my choice. I just let them be informed and let them make their choice. And, and I think uh, people will find in using Bonnie and myself and Steve possibly is that that decision is theirs. Uh, an educated buyer is a good buyer, a good client. Yeah. And the last thing we want to do is have that client of ours turn around and said, hey, we made a mistake because of you. It's never happened. I don't think it'll ever happen. We just are that careful. Well, and you guys, like I like dealing with you guys because you're reputable realtors, right? I mean, I've had disreputable ones and I stopped dealing with them because I just don't need the liability problems. But realistically, if you're dealing with people who want things done properly, you guys understand that marketing to find a new client takes way more money than keeping an existing client happy. So if you put someone into a house that they think is going to be good and it turns out to be bad, that's never going to help you in the long run. And you guys aren't in it for today's dollar, you're in it because it's a career. That's why I like dealing with you guys, because when I point out bad things, it's not like the end of everything for us, which, you know, for some agents that would be. Um, I'm going to be honest all the time. It's just easier. I sleep well at night. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm dealing with reputable agents, they don't feel bad if I fail a house. There's always another house out there. That's right. And nine times out of ten, when you fail that house, the one they end up with works out better for them. I don't know why. Karma works. <laughs> well, in our in our particular case, when I looked at our uh, business for last year, over ninety percent of our business came referrals from other past clients. Uh, that's what we want. Yeah, we don't want to have to spend a hundred thousand dollars in advertising and hope we pull somebody in because they like our advertising. We rather they come to us because we're reputable. Yeah, and yeah, we sleep well at night too. So that's oh. important. <laughs>